Don't you wouldn't mind just to open up some general comments? Um, uh, geez, uh, one of the best games I've ever been a part of as, as a coach or I've uh, seen as a player. Um, St. Edwards is a very, very good team, uh, a team that took it, took it to us, to be quite honest, in the first half. And uh, we went into the locker room, we made some adjustments, and, and I thought, uh, thought the Mavs came out in the second half with more urgency. Um, and we really dominated the second half, and I think it showed by the scoreline. Uh, for the players, and more so, I think, Mike, the, uh, the goal right before the half. First, how devastating was that, and, and what happened on that from your perspective? Um, obviously very demoralizing to have a goal scorer on us in the first half. It's hard to go to the locker room like that. Um, there was just some disorganization in trying to get our wall set up. Um, weren't sure what was going on. I had some people trying to contest the foul, and while we were being disorganized, their um, forward or their midfielder saw an opportunity and had an amazing strike on the ball and sent us into the locker room down one goal. How important for any of you, how important was it to get a quick goal equalizer uh, there in the second half? Okay. Well, it was very important. After the halftime talk, we all kind of yeah, we knew we have to get this early goal to put us back in the game, and we couldn't ask for any better time to score. So, Roy, you definitely saw the highs and lows there in the second half. First, tell us about uh, on the, the PK that went off the post there. What? Oh, yeah, I just wanted my friend Nestor to get an assist, so... It's <laughs> 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 one of these moments that you have to forget quick. Coaches just... When I stopped yelling at me, just forget about it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And I knew I had to like just leave it on the past and keep concentrating. And then describe for us what happened on your game winning goal. Just Nestor played a great ball and I saw the keeper coming in front of me. He was diving to his left, so I placed it on his right. Coach, you mentioned uh, we never have a player miss PK like that and you want to boost their spirits, but you're not able to call a timeout on that. What were you doing to try and uh, get him back into the uh, you, Roy is an exceptional player, he's an exceptional forward, and he's a, an exceptional penalty kick taker as well. Um, he hit it well, it was just a matter of an inch or two wide, and, and I think we all saw how demoralized he was by that miss. Um, all we said to Roy was that he was going to get another chance at some point in the game. And fortunately for us coaches, he did, and he was able to, to, to capitalize on the chance that he got and with the game winner. And if, if he didn't pull himself, uh, pull himself through that issue or situation, obviously that game winning goal never, doesn't ever happen. Micah, they were putting pressure on there at the end, and you made some brilliant saves to keep them off the board. Just talk about the, the end of that game there, pulling them off. Um, <laughs> they, they did put a lot of pressure on us, had a lot of shots there towards the end of the game. They weren't a team that was going to give up easily, or give up at all. And um, I just knew what I had, our team knew what we had to do. Um, and as part of the team, I had to do what I had to do and try to keep the ball in the net by making good saves. And uh, I mean, it's a lot of pressure, um, definitely very nerve wracking towards the end of the game. But we were able to hold them off, I guess. Uh, you, you can tell he's a very, very humble young man, but uh, I'll go ahead and say he was nothing short of spectacular. Also. <laughs> Great. Well, you don't know who your opponent will be, but for any of you, your thoughts on advancing the NCAA quarterfinals? I'll, I'll turn that over to them as players because hopefully they're, uh, they got the butterflies and excitement flowing through their veins, which I imagine they do. Um, very excited to be at this level of the tournament. Um, and none of us have ever been here, so it's a brand new experience for all of us. Um, and regardless of the opponent, we're going to come out and play our game. And how we, when we have came out and played our game in the past, uh, we've been able to come out with um, a good result. And so that's our plan going on to the next game, whoever the uh, opponent may be. Perfect answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. All right. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Awesome, guys. Awesome, guys.